Hey, what's up, y'all? It's the Big Cousin Steve on that Nerf tip. Today, I got a list video for y'all. The top five ugliest Nerf guns ever made that I currently own. Alright, so the purpose of this video is to highlight some of the more ugly blasters I have. And here go, the Big Cousin Steve, official countdown, the top five ugliest blasters in my arsenal. Because beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But so was ugliness. <laughs> Number five goes to the negotiator. They were not necessarily going for pretty. I will tell you that. Even this thing, even the thing that holds the thing is way too big and blown out. You know what I'm saying? This is a kooky blaster. It looked like the, uh, the flounder from Little Mermaid, basically. Even though it's way too bulky and bold and just goofy, it's got a place in my heart. Let's go to number four. Sorry, Ion Fire, but you ain't right. I got all the attachments on, but what does it for me with the Ion Fire is the little handle. Now, who's sitting around talking about, I wish this pistol had a carry handle? You know what I'm saying? This thing is just an aesthetic nightmare. <laughs> I just said aesthetic nightmare. Who am I? This thing is just goof troop, bro. But again, it's got a special place in my heart. Let's go to number three. Number three is the Flip Fury. This thing is just on a different kind of level. I don't know who designed this. This thing is just, it's a mess, bro. It's a mess. Okay, it's tight that it's got the little rotation thing. The rotation part is really clean it's a nice robust design but aesthetically this thing is strange i don't like this little thing it's weird and what's up with this weird hole in the handle what were you thinking i don't i don't get it this blaster is so ugly i have to hold it like this the flip fury is actually an ugly blaster that i don't like at all uh, I did end up giving this to Princess Sydney because I got no use for it. It's very ugly and I want nothing to do with it. Let's go to number two. Number two belongs to the good old Deploy. Like, I look at this thing and I'm like, what even are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to go in on how terrible this blaster functions. This ain't about that. This is just about how garbage it look. This thing is just like pure terrible, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it don't work good, it don't look good. I prefer not to look at it, but it's like, you gotta have one in the collection because it's like one of Nerf's mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, it's got, that's, that gives it collectability of its own, so. The Deploy number two. Oh, I bet y'all can't wait to see what's number one. Some of y'all might already be able to guess. Let's get into it. The number one ugliest blaster that I happen to own is the good old Double Dealer. Man, nah, nah. The Double Dealer gets no pass. Sorry, Doomlands, but you ended up on this list twice. Uh, as far as I know, it's the same person who designs all the Doomland stuff. So, hey, keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I still bought it, even though I knew what it looked like. But this thing is just, <laughs> this thing is pure goof troop. This thing is just redonkulous. It looked like an airplane. Okay, how about we could call it stylish? How about we just say it's really stylish? Nah, it's ugly. It's aggressively ugly. Double dealer, double ugly. So what do y'all think about this list? Was I overly critical? Did I totally forget something super ugly that you're gonna leave in the comments? I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, that one too. Uh, let me know, what do you think is the ugliest Nerf Blaster ever made? Leave a comment, like this video, you know what I'm saying? Share it all around the world, let's make it viral. Who? And subscribe for more of that big cousin content. And you know I almost see you later, son. Sorry, Doomlands, you almost hit the list three times. Man, I still love you though.